Okay guys, so what I'm gonna show you now is the exact same setup. These diodes get hot, so it's unfortunate I can't display this better, but in the coming weeks, I'm sure I will. I've ordered the correct diodes to improve the output because we're not rectifying a fraction of the energy that is there. But anyways, I've added this very large capacitor to, to show you the very essence of the technology that whether it's a small capacitor like this or a great big capacitor pack like this, the device does not care. So again, the 50 watt light bulb hooked up and the voltmeter. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn it on. Here the device is running. You can see the bulbs charging and lighting. It's actually compounding. 33, 34, 35. So if I had better diodes, this would uh, take place much faster. If I use the air core coil, we will introduce the ambient background free energy into the system. But all in all, this is how it works. It does not work any different, just on a different scale. And uh, the disruptive discharge is happening here, but we are containing the field magnetic, so it's not going all over the place. As you can see, 39 volts under load. Now look, disconnect it. Because that's a very large capacitor, it takes some time for it to drain down. The device does not care the size of the capacitor. Have a great day.